Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, I had somebody ask me what were the specs on the server that I purchased. Uh, I did want to go more into detail about this, and I do have a video that I created, but I haven't posted it yet. I haven't had a chance to post it, and I'm not sure how soon I'm going to do that. Maybe tonight. Um, anyways, but this one here is the... Uh, well, I'll go ahead and put this link in the description if any of you are interested in purchasing this specific server. So far, it is working really well for me, and I thought the price was very, very good. Uh, so, along with the shipping, it's going to come out to somewhere around uh, $790. Um, so, I thought it was pretty good. Um, so, let me go ahead and take you uh, through it really quick uh, while I got some time. Uh, so, it's an HP, HP ProLiant DL. 360 it's a uh, the sixth generation server it has two uh, 2.26 gigahertz L5520 and what I want to say is that um, I went ahead and did some research because um, I saw some servers out there with the E5520 and I went ahead and looked up what the difference w was between the E and the L and the L pretty much just meant that it was uh, that the CPUs were better on energy efficiency so if you want to save some money on power uh, I would say just get the L that's the reason I got it there's no real disadvantage to getting the L over the E um, so maybe except really the price point but to me this is well worth the price if it's gonna save me some money on a month to month basis uh, so here I have a uh, 48 gigs of RAM it's upgradable up to 192 gigs so if you want if I wanted to expand this I definitely could without a problem so all I had to do is go out there and buy some some RAM that's a lot of RAM for uh, such a such a low price uh, this thing runs ESXi 5.5 uh, very easily it's able to run my 20 CSR 1000 V's uh, without a problem as well as uh, a couple of hosts for uh, my TFTP server and Wireshark machine and it could probably still run more than that. Uh, each of the CSR 1000 V's are running on 2.5 gigs of RAM. Um, so then it comes with two 2.5 inch uh, 146 gigabyte um, SAS drives so and it comes with a DVD player in there as well so if you want to take a look at it that's pretty much how it looks like um, the first two slots are taken. I have it set up on RAID 0 uh, so they're doing striping for both for the speed and also for the uh, for the capacity. I didn't want to sacrifice the capacity too much because 300 gigs um, <clears throat> is about enough to, to for what I need at least. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um, I actually did use this build me later uh, I got it with 0% uh, financing for a year. I plan to pay it off in maybe about two months, but I just purchased it because uh, money's a little bit tight right now uh, with all these purchases that I'm making. Uh, so I went ahead and just said, well, if it's 0% interest, might as well just use Bill Me Later. So, so yeah. So, of course, um, well, this is a quad core processor. Uh, the RAM is DDR3, like I said, 192 gigs. Uh, maximum for the RAM. It's an Intel processor. Of course it's used, uh, but so far it's been working extremely well for me. There's some more information down here if you're interested in, in looking at that. Um, so let's see, what else? Oh, uh, some of you might be interested in upgrading the RAM, so I actually would like to take a look at this myself. So let me let me check this out. RAM um, okay, so I guess this works here. It's kind of expensive just for the RAM. Uh, two 8 gigs uh, sticks, so 16 gigs uh, for $130. That's pretty expensive uh, for just some RAM, but well, I guess it's um, actually uh, it's pretty decent for RAM, especially server RAM. So I, I guess I shouldn't complain too too much about it. Um, I'm not sure if it's this is actually the same one, but I'm, I would have to check inside of the server to see if this is the correct one. But it it looks like it. 
it, it sure looks like it. So especially this seller has been selling a lot of these, so I'm sure that uh, that it, it works. So so that's not too bad. If I want to add another 16 gigs, uh, which would bring it up to uh, what's that? Uh, another 16 gigs out of on top of 48. Uh, that would get me to 60 gigs of RAM. So, or is that not 60? 48 plus 16. Come on, George. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 64. Ah oh, man, <laughs> that was uh, that was really bad. 64 gigs of RAM, and uh, that would make allow me to run a couple of extra machines there if I wanted to. Uh, but for now, I think that's uh, what I have right now is is good enough. Some of you are also interested in, in the uh, the power consumption. So let me go ahead and bring up my uh, ESXi here. Um, okay, so I have it here, and if I wanted to go ahead and check the, let's see, I'm still new to this, so bear with me. Uh, let's see, bear with me here. So here I have. I can check all this stuff in here so far everything is going really well uh, let's see I have okay so you see here right now I have uh, 20 uh, sorry 10 sir 10 um, CSR 1000 means running and I'm using about half uh, so it, it's this is about right for what I needed for um, what, what was where was it that I wanted to show you here the power consumption I thought it was here but Where is it? Oh, here it is under performance, and then under power. Yeah, so here you go. So I'm running on average um, 148 watts. So for those of you interested, let me bring up my calculator here. Um, 150 watts uh, running consistently for an hour. That is 0.15. Uh, kilowatt hours so for my CCIE studies I'm doing about a hundred hours a month where I have this thing turned on so if it's 0.15 multiplied by a hundred that's 15 kilowatt hours that I'm using uh, per month so if I go ahead and multiply that by the uh, current rate per kilowatt hour uh, for me here it's a uh, 12 cents so that's costing me about a uh, dollar and eighty cents to run uh, for a hundred hours every month. Uh, I'm I looked this up online and this seems a little low. <laughs> I I, I want to say that maybe I have my calculations a little off. Uh, maybe it's uh, uh maybe it's ten dollars and eighty cents or something like that, but. Um, I know uh, another YouTuber out there, he runs his entire lab 24-7, uh, and he has a whole lot more equipment than I do. I mean, he has servers, he has a bunch of routers and switches, uh, a bunch of them, and I mean a bunch, and he only spends about an extra $50 a month to run them 24-7, so maybe that $2 is is right, I, I mean, for only 100 hours. Uh, Plus, I, I'm also running, uh, at least whenever I'm using these, the um, the VM here, the vSphere client, I'm also running one um, one of my Switch, Switch 1. Uh, so that's also taking up a little bit of, um, uh, of power there, but it, it's not much in comparison to, um, to the actual uh, server itself. So uh, hopefully this sheds some light on what it is that I actually purchased. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get back to my studies. Hope this was helpful to some of you. If you have any questions, just go ahead and let me know. And uh, I'll be sure to answer them for you. All right. We'll catch you all next time.